We are Roadster Shop. We build the best chassis and turnkey vehicles in the industry. And we're hitting the road all down the East Coast, making a few stops along the way. <laughs> Welcome to the Road Tour. That was a fucking blast. <laughs> yeah. Dave, did you check and see if you have any tread left on your tires after yesterday? <laughs> Yeah, I guess today's pretty open for us. Um, we've got to be in Spartanburg, North Carolina, go to the BMW uh, experience. We've got uh, four hours to kill before that, find some cool roads to uh, screw around on and get some good scenery, get some good driving in. Never been to this part of the, uh, the country before, so excited to see what's out there. We're headed straight from here to a BMW museum. They said they're gonna let us get into a bunch of like X5s and then go off-road. Do they collect insurance information? I didn't see anything on the waiver about that. <laughs> As a kid, I, I always loved the 55s. This one, for example, this 55 Chevy was a normal middle-class family car. My relationship with the Roadster Shop started. A friend of mine actually worked there, and I remember thinking, wow, I mean, one day, it's my dream to have these guys build me a car. The technology is incredible. It's, everything's computer controlled, you know, stuff for drag racing, a line lock, a trans brake. It's a key here where you can change it from 600 to 700 to 800 to 1,000 horsepower. There's nothing like driving a turbo car. It literally puts a smile on my face every single time, and it never gets old. these M5s around the track and do some road course stuff with them. Should be a stark contrast getting out of a bold, bunch of old American muscle cars jumping into some German engineering. Looks like they got the track all like, slicked out up there to drift them and slide them. With this responsible group of guys, I haven't seen what the insurance liability waivers look like yet, but fuck it, right? <laughs> Shit. I'll stick with the Camaro though. Dude, it's a cool car. I mean, it's fast and the technology's killer. It shifts like a damn Formula One car, but I feel like I should just be wearing a suit and driving it. Muscle car, you wear some fucking cut off jean shorts and some vans and let it rip. You see me on your ass? Yeah. Yeah, I seen you on my ass. <laughs> we had to wait. He kept slowing down because Dave was lagging behind. When you take off, and first give it gas. <laughs> it's good. instantaneous. Yeah, not bad for a family car. The car that we have behind me, 55 Chevy Post, uh, that we just finished up here maybe about three months ago. Great customers create great cars, and this is one of those situations. Cars built for Dave Garfield. This is his fourth Roadster Shop car now. I mean, pretty much the ultimate sleeper. It's a 9,000 original mile, untouched 55 post car. But beneath all the original paint, it's loaded with high-tech shit. I mean, loaded. It's got a 408 Wagner motor, Roadster Shop fast track chassis underneath it. It's one of our stock production chassis, but we made a little tweak here and there. Nothing about that car is just like a cruiser with off-the-shelf pieces. You know, these road tours, aside from being a great opportunity to get out, get some miles, you know, under your belt, drink a few beers and have some fun, they're ultimately like the best proving grounds for our product. First and foremost, we're a chassis manufacturer. So the only way to make your product better is to literally use it for hours, days, weeks straight. There's things I'm learning about stuff that we've done and stuff we could do better. And as soon as I get back to the shop, 
boom, it's like I instantly apply that stuff to our chassis designs and keep making them better, 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 better. For me, if I can exceed a customer's expectations, that's what I strive for. It doesn't matter if the bumpers are chrome, the bumpers are painted, if you don't see any of that when you, the owner of the car, are physically driving the car. What you see is the stuff that's right in front of you. I wanted to make this thing just feel like a damn space shuttle. Analog gauges are super cool, but at the end of the day, when you have a car that's this sophisticated, we wanted more than that. So hidden in what would have been the original glove box on the car is a Holly uh, EFI display. So that gives you live data of what the car is doing. You can pick up basically every vital from the motor. I guess like all the technology aside, I mean, one of the most low-tech things on it is the simple ignition switch. Toggle switch for the ignition, vintage push-button start, and away you go. That's it, like we're building a man's truck. That's what you see, that's the legend truck. It was born out of the softness new pickup trucks that are out there today.